Hello everyone, my name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will discuss about the characteristics of a short key diode. So I have used this 60 volt 30 amp diode from the LT Spice library. It's from R Ohm. And to plot its IV characteristics, I am sweeping this V1 from minus 0.5 volt to 1.5 volt in the increment of 0 0.01 volt. Also, I am uh, changing the temperature from 25 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius to get a set of IV characteristics for three different temperature. So if I run the simulation and uh, plot the uh, current, I get this, uh, this three curve, this three curve for this diode D1. And uh, one thing which you can immediately observe is that the forward voltage drop. Let's focus on this green curve for 25 degrees Celsius. You can see that the forward voltage drop is around 0 0.3 volt. And uh, it uh, will decrease with uh, increasing temperature. So uh, for short key diode, the, on average forward voltage drop is usually 0 0.3 volt. Uh, which is very low compared to the bipolar devices. In PN junction diode, the forward voltage drop on average is 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 volt. So this is one of the advantage of a short key diode. Another thing is that uh, they have metal to silicon barrier rather than a PN junction barrier. So, so they are capable of faster switching compared to bipolar diodes. Uh, however, one thing is that short key diode will be expensive uh, compared to their bipolar counterparts. Also, they are not available in high voltage rating. Mostly I have seen uh, this diode in the maximum rating of 200 volt. Unless you go for silicon carbide the short key diode. If you go for silicon carbide technology, you have short key diode available in 600 volt, uh, 1200 volt rating. Uh, but uh, conventional short key diode, they are available up to 200 volt. Another thing about short key diode is that uh, uh, they get heated very quickly in practicals and, and and they, their leakage current is highly temperature dependent. So you have to be very careful when you are using it in your design. You may, if you are not careful with the um, thermal characteristics of the diode, you may end up damaging it and, um, and you know, destroying your project. So another thing I would like to point out is that uh, if you observe this characteristic, as the temperature is increasing, the forward voltage drop is decreasing. So we can say that the temperature coefficient is negative, the temperature coefficient of the forward voltage drop. However, at high current, if you, you see in this region, uh, I will call this uh, uh, point P, and it's around 30 amps. So up above 30 amps, which is also the current rating of this device, your temperature coefficient is becoming positive, right? It's becoming positive. However, obviously we will never use any device above its, uh, uh, its uh, rating, right? So it's fair to say that temperature coefficient of a short key diode uh, is negative and this phenomena you know this transition from negative to positive temperature coefficient is not just uh, specific to the short key diode but you can observe this in the bipolar diode as well and to show you uh, let me just uh, plot the same IV characteristics for uh, bipolar uh, diode so the Diode D2, this is from on semi and it's rated for 600 volt, 30 amp. And if I plot the characteristic, uh, I will have to 
sweep to a higher voltage because you know the forward voltage drop of a uh, bipolar device is um, large compared to short key diode there you go you see these also the pn junction diode also have this transition point uh, above which the temperature coefficient changes from negative to positive negative to positive so but thing is that see this transition i would call this point p is occurring near its uh, rated current capacity and like i said before we will never use a switch uh, uh, above its uh, defined ratings if above its uh, uh, you know uh, uh, rated capacity so therefore we can say within its operating uh, current rating or uh, a safe operating area the temperature coefficient of the forward voltage drop is is negative now i will show you the characteristics of a silicon carbide short key diode so this third diode here this is again from on semi and it's rated for 650 volt 30 amp so these two diode have almost similar rating they have same manufacturer and let me plot its iv characteristics in the third plot there you go now this diode is also rated for 30 amp but if you see this transition interval the point p for this uh, silicon carbide diode occurs at around 12 amp so within its operating current range the temperature coefficient is changing from negative to you know positive so one has to be very careful when using silicon carbide uh, short key diode for their design because if you are using this diode you may end up uh, you may risk the thermal runaway if you are not careful with this property whereas for uh, the pn junction and the short key diode um, uh, it's very fair to say that temperature coefficient is negative within its uh, uh, given current uh, rating so i hope this is very useful to you uh, and that's all i will talk to you in next video